Hey gang, FLX Beer Reviews, back with another episode of As the Beer Swirls. I'm Dan. I'm Mike. Dan, what are we drinking? Oh, we are drinking a beer from Crafty Owls and Lagers in Phelps, New York. This is their Dark Star. Oh, Dark Star. Classic. Classic, Classic. crafty beer. Classic. Tell me about Dark Star, Dan. Uh, it comes in at 6% ABV. Oh, it's a, low. It's a traditional dark beer, if you will. Dark, stout. Dark, dark oatmeal dark. stout. Is yeah, it? Yeah. Stout. Yeah. I made chili with this one. So it's good. Uh, full transparency, we've had this. But Many times. Yes. Yeah. All right. So. So my deliciousness. Look at that. You can't even see it through it. Head, compact bubbles, kind of a Coca-Cola. Nice and brown yeah. on the bottom. It's like a Coca-Cola color. Yeah, it's a very right? soda color. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's a good whiff. It's a good whiff. So, like English English malts, toasted. Yeah, toasted, roasty. Uh, right. All, all the, the stuff you want from a stout is there. The malt. So, it poured pretty cold. I mean, I feel like as it warmed up, it would kind of pop a little bit more. But yeah, I believe so. Like, a lot of the... This beer in particular, like, it tastes good cold, but... Like a lot of those, as it warms up, more things start mm -hmm. to open up on uh, the nose and the mouth. But right so, now it's pork. Cold. So I don't know what or, I don't know what order we're gonna put these in. But we did the Mystic Miles, right? Right. So <laughs> when they first open, if you mix the Dark Star and Mystic Mild, it's like a black and tan, and it's really freaking good. I don't doubt it. Why didn't oh. we do that now? I, we probably we may do it. We, we may do it. That is buckle awesome. up. We'll see. So um, so anyways, yeah, yeah it's a multi roast eve bit of goodness so let's get tasty yep cheers bud yeah. it's fantastic right so it starts off a little creamy all right um it's creamy all the roast comes out uh it's present front and center um it but, tastes like it's got that a bit of drying like any kind of stout yeah Porter might have um, the you kind of have to dig a little bit for some flavors, but again, it's been poured cold, so yeah. it might be a little different as it warms up. I mean, but. so it, it comes off creamy at the start, but you still got a, a little carbonation in there that traditionally I think you don't really see. Um, that might be what sets it apart, right? Um, I think. I think as far as you're talking your stouts go, it's not as smooth as say, for lack of a better term, like a Guinness would be. Right. Like if you're thinking about a smooth nitro kind of stout, yeah. this is not it. This pops a little more. It's got a little more crispness. Uh, you, all your flavors are still there. It's delicious. I, I feel like it's got it's a really so nice good. bite from the hops though. You know what I mean? Okay. It's, it almost comes off Cascadian a little bit. So like a you know a black okay. IPA in a little, in a little ways. That's a good point. I love black IPAs. Like so I'm not saying it's it's hoppy by like don't think IPA, but think of you know your traditional like brown ales or or even say Guinness, but add just a little bit of hop bite on. That's a little bit of a porter style almost like in porter lines. Right. On that porter. Aspect, I mean, it's six so. percent. It's the body is. Lower side of medium. Yeah, I'll exactly. give you that. Um, easy drinking. Like, very easy so drinking. It, it finishes, like, there's a nice sweetness to the finish, but it finishes a bit um, dry, too. Yeah, I think it still has that drying aspect yeah. that, like, it, it's that borderline dry aspect that makes you want to go back for more. You're able to enjoy the sip you had, right. but you're ready to go back for more. But it's not so roasty to the point of, like, you're just, like, ripping the enamel off your teeth going, you yeah. know, it's just like, oh man, it's, uh, it keeps you going back for more, like you said. I'm just, yep. It's just the overall, just classic style and just a classic beer that I think is easily. It's one of my favorites from Crafty. Dude, fall, <laughs> fall is upon us, like, right? This is, this is a fall beer. I, right I don't here. want summer to go away, but I'm eager for fall to come because this is the kind is, of beer I want. Is it safe fall. to say, is it safe to say, Dan, that if you didn't have a down east pumpkin cider, that maybe a maybe a dark star would fill that void. A dark star fills lots of voids. All right, all right. So, there you go. That's... I can't wait to make chili with it this year again. Oh, there you it's go. It's gonna be awesome. So, all um, right, guys. Um, down in the description below, IG, Instagrams, Untaps, Twitters, 
you know where to hit us up. I'm going to hope so at yeah. this point. So, uh, again, on location, Crafty Ells and Lagers, Phelps, New York, solid brewery. Great stuff. Thanks for watching. Cheers. Cheers.